three, two, one, and I'm live. So hello and welcome back to this mini series, I guess, of um, ways to stand out and be visible. And these have all been plucked out of the visibility vibe system. Remember the visibility vibe system is all about visibility to help you stand out so that your clients can find you or so that your value gets noticed um, when you are working corporately or working for yourself. The visibility vibe system, think of the word vibes, and I should say that a lot slower, visibility vibes. You've got the five letters, V for visibility, I for impact, B for the biography, E for the energy, S actually is two things, the speaking and the sales of it all. So if you haven't seen any of the other um, very short Facebook Lives that I've been doing since last week, then I suggest you scroll down and go back and, and take a listen. You know, people have been giving me lots of great feedback on these, on what listening to just sort of 10 minutes um, and making notes can do for their own visibility, for their own standing out and getting their own stuff out there. So whether you're an author or a coach or a consultant or consider yourself a specialist, then this should definitely be for you. By the way, please do share this. Some of you have been sharing this on your timeline, which is great. Let people know why they should watch, you know, if they want to stand out more, or they want to get their work out there more. But also, um, for some of you, you've been sharing it privately with people too, and that's okay too. In fact, that's great. So whether you share this with a friend who might need to hear this, a business buddy, um, or even a mastermind, privately or publicly, thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate that. So today um, we're speaking about speaker visibility and the reason that I am covering this as part of the vibe system, remember it's part of the S, is that for some of you, you may be looking to grow your audience and grow your reach, therefore get your work out there to more people. You know, some of you I've seen have got um, you know, like mission statements that say things like, I want to get my work out there to, um, I saw somebody recently said 20, um, two, 2 million and 20 people by 2020. Um, you know, I've heard people say they want to get it out to a thousand people in the next year, in the next month, you know. So if this is you, this is a great place to start. And even if you have got what you deem is a small business, let me take a sip of water. If you've got what is deemed as a small business, these tips um, will really help you to spread the word about what you do too. So all of that to say, um, let me crack on with the speaking piece. So, so for, for some of you, um, like even before I talk about speaking itself, let me just rewind back a couple of steps. It's interesting because I think about this in the last 24 hours since I came to you live yesterday, um, I had a planned um, speaking piece with somebody who is based in the United States here through Facebook Live. We managed to do an interview, very um, conversational style interview where we talked about um, visibility. But her show is a street cred show. So have a look at hashtag um, street cred show and you'll be able to see some info on that. Um, and then just this morning, I spoke on um, BBC Radio 5 Live um, about hugging in the workplace. Interesting. But the point I make is this day feels almost auspicious. This time last year, I was publicly speaking in the traditional sense um, at Google here in London um, to a group of um, female executives. Um, and we covered all sorts of juicy topics. It was very interactive and we had a great deal of fun. But the piece that I want to start by defining is like, what is speaking? And in my mind, um, many of us can now add the title speaker to what we do, because speaking is no longer only public speaking to thousands and millions of people in a big hall somewhere or a big auditorium. Yes, that's an element of it. But now speaking can be being interviewed on a podcast, can be running your own podcast. It can be Facebook Lives, webinars. It can be speaking on TV. It can be being interviewed on TV or radio. It can mean so many different things now. And I know that in both the personal development and business community that lots of you are getting out there and lots of you are wanting to get out there more and start to speak. So... 
Um, today, I thought I would cover how you leverage um, that visibility from speaking, whether you're a brand new speaker or whether you are um, you have been doing it for a while or whether you're quite seasoned at it. You know, I'm not going to um, come on to say one is right or wrong, good or bad. There are ways in which we can all leverage speakers. In fact, I've worked with clients who have been part of very big speaker associations and they've been so focused on getting their diction perfect and being able to pronounce things perfectly that they haven't um, remembered that they need to monetize this, especially if they have a business themselves while they're doing it. You know, I've spoken to people who are very senior within an organization, maybe their job title um, says that, you know, they run a department or maybe their job title means that they manage people, they lead people. And as part of what they do, they need to speak and then they get caught off guard because somebody within the organisation will ask them to go and present something and they don't feel ready. So speaking has changed. So knowing that speaking has changed, then why would you want to do this? Some people um, would much rather prefer to say it than type it or say it than write it. Some people, and this was certainly very true of me um, within my corporate career, People liked me to me in the flesh. They got me. Um, even in a meeting, I could sit in silence and just listen to what was going around the meeting and just, you know, give a, a, almost like a mic drop to say one thing, one line that people would then be able to do something with that. So for me, having heard so many people say to me over the years, especially in that corporate setting, you know, heard a lot about you and um, your reputation perceived you and now I've met you, I get it. I wanted to bring that element into what I do now um, and today since 2010 within my business. And the best way that I could think of doing it was through video. I get to speak to you and um, on some of the live streams we get to speak to each other and hopefully you get a sense of what I'm about, who I am. And if you like that, you stick around, you like my page, you share my stuff. And if you don't, you go off and you find somebody who matches you and fits you in a more um, kind of perfect way. So given that speaking has changed, like what are some of the things that we can do? So let's start with um, the, let's start with the experienced people. I'll start with the experienced people and go backwards to beginners. So if you're experienced and you are speaking quite a lot, one of the things that happens is, I have known people that um, have got huge audiences. We're talking like over sort of 100,000 people in their audience and bigger. Um, they've got, you know, they've got a thriving business. They're perhaps making seven figures, multiple seven figures, um, and they speak. Yet what I've seen in some of them is that they, um, they treat speaking as obviously something to be revered, but they also treat speaking as something that they'll mention it in passing to their audience. Now, I get that if it's not your own platform um, and you're being hosted to speak, I get why you might want to do that. And unless you're in some sort of um, confidentiality agreement, then, you know, there is never any time that you shouldn't talk about speaking. So one of the things that um, I would advise you to do if you are um, out there and you're speaking a lot and even you're well known, is to let people know about the speaking that's coming up for you. And one of the things that I love about doing this is, it's not for me just a case of saying, well, I'm gonna be speaking at this place, well, look at me, look at how brilliant everything is. But what it does is it um, lets people know that I do speak, the reason why I also teach it to people. I don't kind of just sit and read the best personal development books on speaking and then regurgitate it out to an audience. I actually get the experiences and not only just from what goes well, what doesn't go so well, what could I have planned better? Um, and I'm getting better and better thanks to uh, the lovely Jamie Foxx who I met at a speaking event a couple of weeks ago. I was able to run the what would I do differently next time question but because of something he said I do that virtually immediately and by doing that immediately I can look at what I was happy with what I would do differently next time what I would keep what I would change um, and that actually forms into the next lot of speaking that I do what worked well what didn't work so well what might I try 
um, to do next time? What might I not do next time? So all of those sorts of things. If you are an accomplished speaker, you never get to a point where just because you've spoken to millions of people or thousands of people millions of times, that's it. And if you speak to anybody who is like at the top of their game when it comes to speaking, they will tell you that they learn something new every day. So um, look at how you can do that. Look at how you can leverage that. Look at speaking about your speaking before the event as well as after the event. Um, this also, I think, is a really collaborative way of doing business in this day and age. People um, like get curious about like who you're speaking for, go and check them out. And um, in turn, it not only actually grows your own audience, it grows theirs as well. So, for example, it's a lovely lady that I speak for, um, sometimes to her mastermind. And, you know, she trusts me and brings me into, um, you know, into her mastermind of people. So I, I really cherish that. Um, I really cherish it. And sorry, someone's just um, someone's sending me a gazillion messages. Um, I really cherish that. Um, but I also when I'm out and about and I'm speaking to people, if there are people that I think, you know, this is a really great mastermind or great group of people that they should be part of, then I will definitely, definitely um, share that with them too. So, um, so that's one way of leveraging that visibility as an accomplished speaker. As somebody who thinks, well, I'm not quite accomplished and I'm not a beginner. I've been doing it for a while, but I want to leverage it. Again, do the same things that I have advised there. Let people know where you're speaking and who you're speaking to, if you can, before, if you can do it during, and if you can do it afterwards. So um, I recently really benefited um, from speaking um, at a conference, and I actually took somebody with me as a kind of a spare pair of hands, and every part of me was fighting into the, like, who do I think I am, you know, do I need an entourage and all of that kind of stuff? But actually, what I found was that by taking them with me, um, that they were able to get like photographs of me speaking. I didn't have to worry or wonder whether someone in the audience had taken any pictures. They were able to get very short, sharp video footage pieces as well, which again was better than me trying to focus on, on giving this presentation and then doing a selfie in the middle of it. You know, some of the gigs that I speak at, that's just not the appropriate thing to do. And then um, the other thing is get really great at um, asking for, for speaking gigs. And this will also apply to those of you who are beginners as well. So it kind of crosses over the two. But get really great at letting people know what you speak about, why um, what you speak about would hugely benefit their audience. And this is the bit, this kind of slippery bit in the middle that I see a lot of people go into. They want to go, they want to offer their speaking stuff. And then they'll just say, you know, um, here's why I should speak to your people. I do this, I do that. Um, they're not very concise and they make it all about them as a speaker, not the host as the audience. Like, think about this. Your host is the person who is having to either spend money on Facebook ads or, um, you know, spend time marketing and trying to fill their own room or trying to get people into their program or their mastermind or trying to grow their audience, you know, get more listeners, get more viewers. So I think, you know, if you're being asked to speak to their audience, the least, the very least you can do is make it easy for them to know why their audience would benefit from what you say rather than the me, me, me approach. So going on to beginners. So beginners, if you are um, just getting started out, get really clear on what you speak about. Now I know, like me, you can speak about a lot of different subjects, but when you approach somebody, and I know because I've booked people to speak before, when they approach me with a very vague, um, either a vague topic, or, well, I can speak about this thing, and this thing, and this thing, and this thing, and this thing, it kind of makes your head explode. Your eyes roll to the back of your head, and you just think, this is too much. Like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm looking out for here. I don't know how I'm supposed to promote this person here. So get really clear on what you speak about. So if you speak about um, one specific subject, so I speak about visibility, but that is too broad a stroke. So I need to chunk it down a little bit and say, um, I speak about visibility on video, or I speak about visibility when you are public speaking, or 
I speak about visibility when you're presenting. I'd never say all of that to one person, but dependent on what their audience needs most and how I can serve their audience best, I'll do that. So some of the topics that I'll speak at industry conferences, I'll speak about raising your profile. They get what visibility means straight off the bat, no explanation, a lot of the professionals do. Um, but I'll explain that it's visibility to help you raise your profile. And because it's an industry thing, I'll talk about raising your profile internally or raising your profile externally. So those are just some of the things that you can do to help raise your visibility as a speaker. There are, of course, like a trillion other things. And there are some things that you need to have like underpinning or, you know, um, before you you can start going out there. By all means, start going out there, start looking for speaking gigs or start doing more speaking gigs. But some of the um, things of the foundations, if you like, that need to be set um, will be the information that you send out to somebody. It could be the, um, the message that you send out, how you reach out to somebody to ask them um, whether they need speakers for their gigs, the application process. It could be they want to know about your audience. You know, have you got that information ready? Um, contrary to popular belief, you don't need to have an audience to speak. So on this very special day, when I think, gosh, a year ago today, I did a classic public speaking over at Google. Um, and then in the last 24 hours, I spoke to someone's audience who's based in America. And then just this morning, spoke on BBC Radio 5 Live and added my voice to a topic um, of something. You know, th this goes to show how diverse speaking can be. I have clients who come to me because they want more visibility and they like speaking. And then the next thing you know, they're speaking in places all over the world internationally. Um, they're speaking for small groups, they're speaking for big groups, they're speaking in auditoriums. But they can only do that when they've got all of the pieces together so that they're happy to be seen. One thing that I want to finish with saying is for you who has the smaller businesses, you're a one man band business, you're not a big conglomerate, you're not a big corporate, you're not a business that has like, you know, staff working for you. Where speaking becomes really important for you is when you go to networking events, you might go to like BNIs and, and places like that. You might go to the Professional Speakers Association to up your skills or even Toastmasters. But when you go out and about, you are always marketing yourself. And part of the way in which you market, market yourself might not just be through blog posts, through written social media or through email. Some of it will be when people meet you. So you might be networking and speaking to somebody for 60 seconds. You might be speaking to somebody for minutes at a time. Either or this is all part of leveraging your visibility as a speaker. For those of you that have meetings with people, especially business meetings, you might have them in the flesh. You might be a consultant that has a meeting to scope out something before you say yes to working with somebody or before they say yes to working with you. Or you might have a meeting that's online. I know that um, with some of my corporate clients, I quite often will book a meeting um, through something like GoToMeeting so that we can have like a conference call, a video conference call or a telephone conference call and we can meet that way. All of these are opportunities to speak not just about your business and what you do, but for people to feel the value of what you do. So the benefits are that you feel far more confident, you feel far more um, able, and you feel um, far more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? People tell me that they have more confidence, they feel like they know what they're speaking about more. And when you have that element of feeling like you're ready to do it, you're ready to get out there before it's really needed, it takes the pressure off. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Please do leave a comment um, in the box below and uh, let me know where you have been speaking or where you would like to be speaking more or um, any kind of successes that you've had when you've been getting out there and raising your visibility through speaking too. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.